So now that we can actually create a user, let's try and uh, I also show you how to read users. We're going to, don't worry, we'll dive a lot more into this. Let's try and update a user. Again, I'll right click um, the index here and I'll say update documents like this. And it can go in here and we can find all the list of documents. We can start searching them, but there's an easier way. Let's just try again. I'm finding all the users here again, just executing it. But instead of selecting the document view here, I'll go into more of a tree structure view over here. And now I can actually find the specific document that I want to update. In this case, the John one, I'll right click here and I'll say edit document. It'll pop up with the actual John here. And I'll just uh, say John two instead and I'll save. And if I expand this guy now, we now have John two. So you kind of, by the structure of the tree view, you get a lot of easier to use ways to actually update documents. Um, but of course, if you want to specify more of how Mongo does this, you can go in again and read their documentation how to actually do an update here because there is a command, of course, to do that as well. Um, I don't want to use that because I'm not that interested in how we actually do it using um, the Mongo right now. I just want to be able to update something. But it's all in here how you update a single one by saying I want to update one with the name of Picasso, for instance, and I want to set the food uh, of pie to, to type three, right? So this is a pretty complex one again. You'll get into complex one as soon as you start doing manual updates. So if you wanna go do it instead of inside a Mongo shell, go and do it. But I don't see the reason to doing it because we will soon start using REST APIs to update instead. And there again, we'll have some helpers to figure out how to do the updates for us. So um, using Mongoose, it'll be a lot easier than manual Mongo shell updates. But if you need the shell, maybe you should go and dive more into that. But Right now, it's plenty for me to go into the RoboMongo, right click a document, say edit document, and then just go in here and update and save it afterwards. That's all I have to do. So see you in the next lesson where we'll try and use the delete one as well. Have fun.